My name's Annette Loudon and I've been teaching yoga since 1994. So I started yoga in 1975 when I lived in villages in Bali. It's been a very important part of my life. As my whole life had been involved with um, access areas, for example, teaching literacy to adults, um, teaching English to speakers of other languages, etc. When I wanted to do my yoga training, I decided to go to England. There was a centre there, one of the only in the world at that time, called Yoga for Health. And it was offering teacher training for people, for yoga for people with disabilities. And in particular at that time, that was for multiple sclerosis. And in fact, I started teaching yoga in England to street kids up in Sheffield. So coming back to Australia, in fact, I taught for the MS Society, which continued for many years until we decided through the MS Society to start um, getting people with MS into community classes, some of whom needed volunteers to help them move their limbs. So through my training, I then started teaching all kinds of people with many disabilities and started a class run by an organisation called DARTS which means Disabled Alternative Road Transport Scheme and they, these people in wheelchairs would be brought to a centre which was then at Forestville and I would teach them each week with the help of many volunteers. I've taught all types of people yoga, including general classes. And through my general classes in the late 90s, a lot of women started coming who were having treatment for breast cancer. This led to me doing my own research, me doing my um, certificate in lymphatic drainage to learn what to do for women with lymphedema. And it's actually changed my life. So I work with Encore. I've made a DVD for Encore on yoga for women after treatment for breast cancer. I'm also writing a book on this topic. I talk to yoga teachers. And this year I'll be doing my master's degree in yoga and its effect on women with lymphedema as a result of breast cancer treatment. Working with people with illness and disabilities is an amazing aspect of my yoga career because I'm continually inspired by people and this inspiration has continued me on this path so that throughout my career I've been asked to teach yoga to the profoundly deaf, to people who are on parole, to people with all kinds of illnesses and disabilities, to people, to young people actually with intellectual disability. And each time I take on one of these types of yoga sessions, the yoga obviously, as in all yoga, has to be changed to suit each individual. So people have often asked me, well, how do you teach some of these people with very limited movement and with very limited speech. And I say to them, well, I start in the same way as I start with all my yoga students. Find out in whatever way I can their background, their limitations, whether we can move certain parts of their body, etc. And then treat the individual. So yoga, as we know, is about union both within and as part of a greater community. So my teaching and I know other yoga teachers teach because of our strong commitment to this idea.